This is Glenn Smith from Paratech UK and the date is the 1st of July 2015. Uh, the time is 34 minutes past 11 and this is a uh, test of the infrared head torch um, that will be going on sale and will be available in the next week or so. Uh, the camera is a JVC Averio night vision camcorder that I've converted to night vision. Okay, so I'm just in the man cave now at the moment. So I'm going to turn the light off, and then I'm going to put the uh, put the head torch on. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is my back garden. As you can see, with the conversions I do, you can actually still see colours. Okay, there's the garden garden light so what I'm going to do I'm going to stand over by the garage and I'm going to put the light on now this light has got four different settings you'll see when I turn it on so this is the first setting and this is the center uh, just the uh, the center light okay so that is just That's just the one. Okay. So, as you can see, if I walk about a bit, my garden's about 15 metres, I would say. 15 metres wide, so there's the back wall of a neighbour's garage. There's the, the workshop and the conservatory. Now I'm going to put the two lights on. Okay, so that's just the two outer lights. Okay. So as you can see, it's, it's quite bright. It does give you some really good illumination. This does. So now I'm going to put the three on, which is all three of the the LEDs and there you get a, a bit of a wider spread now, obviously this is head mounted this is on my head at the moment so obviously wherever you look and wherever you pan the, the infrared light will follow what you're looking at now, if I zoom in to the table, that will give you an idea of the quality and the resolution of these cameras. There's my phone. If I can keep the phone, uh, the the camera still, you'll be able to read the cigarette packet. Smoking kills. There's my lighter. That's a Zippo lighter. There's an empty fag packet. I'll zoom back out. So as you can see, down there, uh, it's quite a good. Quite a good illuminator. So basically, what I've done is I've took a standard head torch and I've sourced appropriate LEDs now. Okay, uh, this will this will come in pretty useful on outdoor investigations, especially uh, for Mick Doyle's team, ECP. Uh, ECPR in Ireland when we do uh, Shane's Castle we'll be using this down in the tunnels at Shane's Castle on the uh, the 18th of July so I think what we'll probably do is we'll wait until we've done a field test in the castle 
um, before we actually put this out to sell it so at least we can make a video and you'll be able to see but what I'll do, I'll just, I'll just walk around the house obviously there's coming in the conservatory now all the lights are off so if you press it to the number 4 setting it does this so you've got a strobe effect ok so if I turn it back now press the button again obviously the light goes off so if I just put it on number 1 for now which is the centre bulb there you go so that's just one just one bulb ok one LED so we'll come through there's the kitchen Well, if I put the, the two on, you'll see the difference now. Okay. And if I put the three on, you'll obviously get the full spread now. So there's my fireplace. And again, as I say, with my conversions, you actually see the colours as well because I've incorporated the the visible spectrum uh, as well as the invisible which the majority of uh, conversions out there the ones that they call full spectrum which as you all know there's no such thing as full spectrum um, but they don't give you colour we're obviously mine do so but there's the there's a quick video anyway just to show you Right. so I'll turn it off now uh, I'll put the light on and I'll be putting a picture up of the the camera itself uh, sorry not the camera the uh, the lights basically one of these if I hold it in front of the camera just so you can see okay so you've got button on top there press it that gives you your middle LED press it again that one goes off and you get the two outer ones press it again and you get all three press it again and you get the strobe and press it again to turn it off ok so what I've done is I say is I've converted it now to infrared those are infrared LEDs in there Okay, and um, it just it can fit to a, a hard hat, a helmet, and also obviously to your head. All right. So we'll be, we'll be giving these a test, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. We'll make them available for you guys who want them. All right, there, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.